actually. Yeah, it has. It's very stacked, you know. A lot of people in this little area, the Raven's Nest, you know, it's actually a really cool spot. Yeah. It Got good food options, you know. Sponsored by Momocon. They were so nice enough to donate three passes to the top three players of this tournament. I wish I was one of those top three. Top hey. You can still go to Momocon, you just gotta shell out that money. You see, it's money that I have, but I don't want to spend. Mm. <laughs> well, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. Yeah, no, yeah, that's true. That's All true. right. All right, so who do we have? Who do we have? So we got Scat versus Salt One. <gasps> Scat going with his snake, Salt One going with his cloud. You know, I saw this matchup last week, I think, mm -hmm. at Gwinnett Brawl, and Scat actually almost took the set. Really? Yeah. Let's see if he can um, actually take it this time. It looks like Salt One already, um, well, had Scat in the corner, but now it looks like they were able to, re well, Scat was able to reset it to neutral. Ooh. See, I like what Salt One is doing here, because a lot of the snake's um, strengths are is walling people out with, like, explosives and stuff and just covering, like, different areas of the stage. And I feel like, ooh, that is... Oh, that is some nice DI from Scat. That, that is really good. I'm surprised oh, I didn't and kill. Back but, <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like um, Salt One is um, doing a good job of controlling more space than Scat is. He's not giving him a chance to you know set really anything up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he can get grenades off, but I mean, he's not able to strategically pace, place them, nor the same like with the C4. Like he's not giving him any room to breathe. You are completely right, and I'm sorry if I'm quiet, but uh, the deprivation is getting to me again. Oh, well, that's okay. So, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Ooh, this guy goes that deep is... for that kill, but he gets him with the back air. God. All right, Scott's still on the ropes this stock though. 127. He may be heavy, but I'm pretty sure this is a kill percent for Cloud. Am I correct to assume that? Yeah, so this. Uh, he just needs to get a back air, and uh, he's dead, but not at that not at center stage. Oh, yeah, definitely. At ledge, he is. But now that he has limit, he has more of a killing chance, but uh, that's something that happened. Yeah, I see. Looks like he just went ahead and used the limit, because I think he was actually running out of time to use it. Ooh, Scat was able to place that C4 and see, so see, this is exactly what happened at Gwinnett Brawl when Scat and Saw One were fighting each other. Mm -hmm. It's it's literally dead even. So whoever has the momentum mm -hmm. will win the set. That makes sense, yeah. Like force the other opponent to make an option, you know? Yes. Put them under pressure. Their decision making isn't gonna be the best. So he who has the momentum can, can essentially control the match. Ooh. Well, both players look to be at about even footing in this match right now. Yep, both hovering around 80. Okay. Scat is at a small advantage. Gotta spam that in the queue though. That ledge, am I right? But Salt does have limit break, so let's see. And he's running out of time to use it. Ooh. Ooh. He gets it. And the grenade explodes as well, but the DI from Scat is just amazing. Yeah, man. and the two players back at even, but Scat, oh, that was such a smart air dodge. And completely avoid the up smash from Salt One. Oh. Ooh. Oh. He wasn't that uh, up tilt killing percent. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm now he is. Now he is. Oh, oh he, he missed what? it. Whoa. And he dies. And he dies because he missed it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> That is very interesting. I've never seen that happen before. Me, me neither. <laughs> All right, let's see what the counter pick is going to be from Scat. I'm so used to the mic being on the left side of my face that I just felt wrong. Having it Me too. on my right side, mm -hmm. like it, it just—it's weird. Oh man, Salt One switching to Young Link, which is apparently his day one main. So let's see how the matchup is going to change up in this. I 
All right, so we're seeing some typical young Lincoln Snake things going on, both just throwing out projectiles. The projectile city. This guy doing a good job keeping um, Salt One on the corner, but looks like um, he forced him back into neutral. I've, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, both players at even footing here. Salt one with a small advantage. Ooh, that was so smart to land with fire arrow. He figured that um, Scat would approach, so he just went ahead and fired arrow, which is such a good projectile in this game. Why is it that you say salt one, but I'm seeing Tweak's playstyle? <laughs> like well, hey man, you I mean you you, you emulate <coughs> the best. That's how you get good. <coughs> oh my god, man. I've had something in my throat all day today. And it, it hasn't gone away. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> so, just going back and forth now. And Ooh, okay. I like that. I was about to say. Scat, drops the C4 right at the ledge. Yeah. Read that he was going to jump and then detonates the C4 to secure the kill. And that's a problem with Young Link, too. He's pretty easy to kill. And Snake hits hard. Yeah, yeah, he does. Okay, good bomb confirm. Almost getting a fair confirm off of that fire arrow. And so that's such a scary place for Snake to be, is like right above someone, especially like young Link who has a lot of options to punish like people coming from above him. You know, you have up B, you got up air. You got bomb. Yeah, you got bomb. You got boomerang. You got arrows. Arrows, not so much, but, you know, but you got his, his up smash is really good. Hits three times. Ooh, and there's the up tilt, actually. Wow. Scat on his last talk of the set. Let's see if he can turn it around and force a game three. Ooh. Oh, I just realized we're on winter sun. Mm -hmm, okay. Right, the day has gone by so quick. Yeah, it really has. You know, that's I. I feel like that's you know thanks to all the people bringing their setups because we probably have what around ten to twelve setups here, all <coughs> provided by the players. It's it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Ooh, get some off stage, Nikita. You wanted it so bad. Oh. Okay, yep. There, there we go. Is. Now we there get it. it. Nothing weird. Scott's still in a very dangerous position though at 116. Uh one one down throw into an up tilt. Or into up air, my bad. Ooh, couldn't read on that roll. Ooh, that tether grab from Young Link is so scary. It really is. Because you don't want to be right in Young Link's face, you know, because a lot of his options are very safe, but at the same time you don't want to be too far away from him because then you just get tether grab. That is. So true. <laughs> you don't want to be too far away from him either because then you just get walled out by projectiles. My friend plays young one mm -hmm. and he does this, the, the exact thing that you just said. Oh, and Salt One wins. Ooh. Wow, getting the down tilt to up air confirmed. Getting the 2 0 on Mr. Scott. Salt One will proceed to winner's finals. DJ Salt.